Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my first match in the CFA. It's my week one match that I had a few weeks ago versus a guy called Ghostflame92. He's, uh, he's a YouTuber himself. He uploads good content to his channel, so I'll leave his link in the description uh, if you want to go and check him out. So just a quick rundown of the team I brought today. Uh, he's got Mega Pincer on his team. Huge threat, so I did have to pack some defensive mods. I got, uh, first off, I got Scarf Rachi, which... Um, which does, you know, it does work, it's Scarf, it gets the flinches. Uh, it's got Healing Wish in case I need to bring Alt Orlando back uh, during the match. Next up I've got Defensive Rotom. Stock standard Defensive Rotom. Deals with uh, Mega Pincer pretty well. And uh, can take on Rhydon if it needs to. As well as dealing with Empoleon somewhat. Uh, so next up I've got uh, Special Attacking Landris Eye. Uh, with Sludge Wave, Earth Power, Knock Off. Uh, and Rock Slide for the pincer trying to switch in. Um, so after that we've got uh, just the normal DD, Heal Bell, Roosting, Mega Altaria. I can put in a lot of work versus his team once I get rid of Empoleon. However, if he does bring the Ditto, which he has bought this match, uh, that really limits me setting up with Altaria right there. So that's going to be something I have to play around uh, pretty carefully. Next up I've got Amoongus, who's there to take it some Jolteon. Uh, spore things, put things to sleep. Uh, just be an all-round nuisance for his team. Uh, and then I've got Stunfisk as a secondary check to Pinsa to set rocks and wall Jolty on uh, somewhat effectively. So let's jump into the match. So first turn, he leads out with Ditto, which is a great scout on his part, as I lead out with my Landorus. Not wanting to take, take an HPI, so switch out here. Um, so he just goes for the knockoff, which is a good play on his part. So this allows me to set up my Stealth Rocks, I believe. Um, I see he brings out his Empoleon, which I cannot stay in on. Um, as I go out to my Amoongus to comfortably take the Skull there. But I do get burned, which is pretty annoying. Because um, it does wear down Amoongus a lot faster. That's fine. He makes the good double into Ditto here. Not wanting to get spored, so that's a good, that was a good play on his part. Um, this means I can just stay in and get off a nice sludge bomb, whittle, whittle him down a bit, whittle the ditto down. He's scarf, so he's going to be faster than me. Wasn't a speed tie there, uh, but I do get a decent chunk of health off in there. He does have the regenerator though, that is something to remember because he has copied Amoongus's ability right there. So go out to Lander, it's annoying. I can't, I don't fear a sludge bomb. Don't want to get poisoned, but I can eat that up pretty handily. I go for the Earth Power here on the switch in because he doesn't have any resists at this point in time. His Ditto is Amoongus. He cannot transform into Landorus at this point, so Earth Power is a pretty nice play here. It'll do considerable damage to the Pinsa even though he resists it, and he'll have to be forced to come in on rocks. So Earth Power is the play there. Now here, I'm actually not max speed Landorus. Um, I did consider staying in, but if for some reason he was a Mew speed creeping, a modest, a modest Landorus, I didn't want to stay in and risk it because it's such a threat versus his team. Uh, I could have easily taken him out here with an attack, uh, but I switch out. Just trying to make the safest play possible. Uh, I, I'm sw I switch out into my Jirachi, who is Choice Scarf, just in case he wanted to go for the Ice Beam or Ice Punch right there. I see actually Rock Polishes and Baton Passes right here, so this is a problem. I uh, U-turn out knowing that it can kill Mew, so he goes into his Empoleon. Now, <laughs> at this point, I figured... Alright, this could be like a setup. Uh, this could be like an offensive life orb Empoleon. Um, I thought I'd scout here. So I go into my Amoongus. Knowing that he's, he'll likely Ice Beam here uh, if he is offensive. Uh, and Amoongus obviously isn't going to take it, but I do have a Rotom. Uh, whereas if I went into Rotom straight up, he could have HP Grassed and dealt considerable damage. So I just wanted to scout out if he was life orb or not. Um, as he goes for the Skull right here. Which is fine. I, I go out to my Rotom here, um, just making sure he doesn't have the Ice Beam. He actually shows the Flash Cannon, which does nothing uh, to Rotom, obviously. Uh, as now, I hydro it here, and I hydro it because I figured Jolteon was a pretty safe play for him. Hydro does nothing to Empoleon, I'm burning him at this point. W while it would have been a good play, uh, Vaulting was just... would have dealt the most damage to him, so um, I'm still trying to scout the skill of this place. So I'm, I just go for the nice Hydro there and it does nothing as you can see to the Empoleon. I see Defogs which is huge because that gives Pinsir a far easier time coming in. 
Uh, he can give some freedom to Mega Evolve and wreak havoc on my team. So right here, I actually go for the Willow as he switches out to Jolteon, expecting my Volt Switch. Which is nice because I wear Jolteon down a bit, but um, it's not the end of the world for him really because my Stun Fist, which is my check, is quite weakened. Uh, and as you can see there, it does 37% uh, and I should be able to take, I am at 40% right here, so I should be able to take another hit. Uh, but as you can see, he actually gets a high roll on that second turn and takes me out, so that's unfortunate. That's fine, here's Specs and... That gives me the opportunity to go into my Jirachi right here, not fearing the HP ice, uh, allowing me to just U-turn freely on the Ditto. Sorry, I Iron Head there. I don't U-turn. As now I go out to Rodan, knowing that he cannot touch me. He goes to the iPhones there. It does nothing. And I go for the Hydro here, still thinking that he might have brought in Jolteon. Uh, we're at a Wisp there. Mew was the play, as he would have been able to easily heal up on Rotom and also burn me in the process, so I didn't want to risk that. Uh, Hydro was all around my best player right there, as Jirachi was not going to stay in versus the Rotom. In comes Jolteon again. I know Amoongus can take any one hit, uh, as he goes to the Volt Switch. Now, I actually did have HP Rock on Zamungus, um, but he wasn't going to risk anything. He just goes right for the frustration of taking out my Amoongus, and that's fine with me, because <laughs> I do have the Rotom, which is a pretty solid check, solid answer to this pincer. So I do land the Hydro off on the Jolteon, and at this point, he's basically forced to Volt Switch, or he will go down to, to Burn which he does, so that's good for him, it means Jolteon can potentially come in and eat up a Volt Switch at some point in the match, get some more health back, as he brings in his Empoleon, and I know Empoleon can't touch Rotom, he can go for the Skull Burn, but you know, it's 30%, so I'm fine with that, I get the Willow off in there, I'm still worried about this Jolteon coming in, so there's a bit of mind games here, I see he keeps trying to go for that Skull Burn, which is his best play to be honest. So I go into Altaria here, uh, as he scolds. Now, I, I don't have to Mega Evolve here, <laughs> right here. Um, the rule wasn't established at this point um, in the season. So this just means I can roost up comfortably, not fearing um, not fearing the Flash Cannon. He has revealed he doesn't have Ice Beam, so Heal Belt Ult is a pretty nice check to his Empoleon right there. Now he sets up rocks, which isn't too big of a deal. Uh, as I can just get a free Earth power off right here. Now I am I am uh, heavily HP invested in Landorus, um, and I can actually live a frustration or a return at full. But after the damage I've taken, after the rocks, after the damage, the health that Lando's at now, I do actually go down to a frustration here. So that's fine. As I said, Rotom just does win at this point. Um, Pincer can't really touch it, and this means I can just go out into my, uh, he can go out into his ditto, uh, and he's just getting whittled at this point, so I get a nice switch into my Altaria here. As I said, Heal Bell basically renders Rotom useless against me, but I still can't DD, because he can just switch out. Uh, he can switch out into his Empoleon and come back in and steal my Stapus with ditto, so I am <laughs> prevented from healing up. Uh, and s and raising my stats in that sense. So I just heal up knowing that I can I can take a flash cannon. It does do a lot though. It does do a considerable amount. Um, but I can stall out this Empoleon a bit right here. Now what I was aiming for here, I did want I did want the Altaria in on my Altaria. It has to go for the return because if it locks uh, if it goes for anything else, Rotom will wall it. Um, I need it locked into return so Jirachi can comfortably iron head here. Uh, as he is he does go for the return right here. 
So at this point, it's just a matter of getting the Iron Head, Iron Head damage off on Altera. He does outspeed me because I am a pretty slow Rachi. Um, but now this means that I can outspeed the Pinsir the next turn, and really I just needed to t get get rid of the Ditto because Rotom would have won at this point anyway. But I do get the flinch here, uh, which does secure the 2-0 for me. As quick attack would not be able to take me out at that range. It's a good game, man. Uh, that was my first match in the CFA, and I'll be uploading the rest of them. So far, we are. We have just done week four. I've just finished my week four match, so there will be more matches on it on their way. Um, the league itself is is an eight-man league, and I've been told it's the players are pretty competitive. So I'm excited to see what's to come. Um, we have had a pretty good run so far. So stay tuned for the rest of my uploads of the matches. Uh, thanks for watching.